Hey guys, Justin Russell with RMP. Have you ever wanted to connect your tablet to your Gen 3 unit wirelessly so you can view it or control it from a tablet? Well, today we're going to go through the instructions on how to do that. All right guys, now we're gonna connect our tablet to our unit itself to be able to control it from the tablet or also mirror it if you had a uh, smartphone. So first thing I'm gonna push on is gonna be settings. Go down to wireless. We are going to select wireless devices and click on the gray screen. That pulls up our network name, which is the HDS Gen 312, which is what this is. Our network key is going to be the password. Now, this tablet's already been connected, but we would traditionally go to Settings, click HDS 12 Gen 3, it would bring up the password to enter. Again, the network key is your password, so enter in your password, which we've already been connected to this, which would be P, capital R, capital L, T, S, capital J, capital Z, capital K on this unit. That's gonna be different for everybody else's units. So once we are connected with that, I will actually go back to my tablet, and I will pull up the GoFreeLink app that is downloaded. You have to download this app to make this function. So traditionally in the past, it's been Lowrance GoFree app. Now I think it's um, called Navico GoFreeLink. So we're gonna connect that and it's already searched for it. So all I've got to do now is push on the HDS 3-12. That's the unit that's networked to this. The important thing to remember, I don't know why it does this, but for several times for us, we've had to enter um, the, or click the join button to get it to accept the password. The password was correct, but we had to click join, I think three or four times initially for it to come up. So on my unit now, it says allow iPad remote MFD control. I will put yes, and I will, I will be able to actually control my unit from my tablet. Now, if you've got a smartphone, traditionally in the past, you cannot control it from your phone. You can mirror off of it, meaning whatever you do on your unit, you will see on the phone but on a tablet, you can actually control the unit. As you can see, push button features. The really cool thing about this is you can have a RAM mount for your tablet, have it right next to this graph here, or even have this mounted over on the passenger side to allow the passenger to see exactly what you're viewing or have it up front. So it's another tool that can be utilized out there. A lot of cool features you can have on these stuff to be able to utilize, of course, time on the water, but Again, quick video of how to connect your tablet or your smartphone wirelessly to your HDS unit.